Hello and welcome to Vector Touch Plus. My name is Martin Perhiniak. In this video, I'm going to talk about the text improvements in Illustrator CC. First, starting with the best new feature called Touch Type. This is a brand new tool and you can find it under the Type tool. Here at the bottom is the Touch Type tool with the keyboard shortcut Shift T. Now, you can use this on both point text and area or paragraph text and it works really well because it's completely non-destructive so whenever you use it you can always go back and make changes to any of the letters uh, of your text but let me show you how it works so once I select it I can click on any individual letters of my text and I can resize move and rotate them individually that's the interesting part so I can scale them up and down and all the other letters will move uh, following the changes so I can make this T bigger and I can uh, stretch it as well if I want to I'm going to avoid doing that instead I'm just going to rotate it and move it down a bit now let's do the next character I'm going to make it a bit smaller move it closer let's make this one bigger and rotate it around I want to make a really funky uh, layout with this text and I would like to make this like a real design uh, task where we want to create a cool composition only by using this feature this new feature I'm going to be a bit more crazy with these characters and then I come down here to the next line again I'm going to rotate maybe in this case rotate this way and move the Y closer once again rotate make this smaller as well instead of s uh, stretching it I would like to scale it so scaling is always this uh, point here on the top right that's one that's the one that you can use for scaling okay there's the E which I can again rotate and then maybe move below no, that's a bit too far from the other characters so I'm going to keep it close something like that so that already shows what we can do with the touch type tool but there's two more improvements and that I would like to talk about one of them is the option now to convert point text to area text easily and vice versa as well now, this is something that we had previously in Photoshop but now in Illustrator CC we also have the same possibility so I'm going to use simply the type tool and I'm just going to type in point text here at the bottom so point text and let's see what does that mean first of all so once I have the text I hold down shift and drag it to make it bigger now whenever you work with point text that means if you start stretching this it will actually stretch it so changing the bounding box will stretch the text itself that's how point text works but if I double click on this little icon here that will convert it into an area text in which I will be able to fit more text in so as you can see it automatically reflows depending on what I do with the bounding box so that's uh, uh, area text now or paragraph text but if I double click on the little point it will switch it back to a point text where again if I change the bounding box changes the size or stretches the text itself and you can also access the same options from the type menu here convert to area type or point type so that's a very useful option and by the way it's also good to know that whenever you have an area type you can always select the area type options as well from the type menu so here you can be very specific about the rows and columns inside your area type okay uh, so that's another useful improvement that we can now easily convert one to the other but uh, another great feature is whenever you have a text let me just have this point text selected and we want to change the font now we can search not only by the first word but you can also search in the entire font name which means if I type in uh, italic that will show all the italic fonts in my font library or I can also search for bold or semi-bold let's just try semi-bold 
can see it immediately filters out all the fonts and will show me only those ones which uh, fits the criteria that I started typing. So that's also another cool improvement. And all in all, that's what I wanted to show you in this tutorial. So these are the main text improvements in Adobe Illustrator CC. If you want to learn more about the new features, make sure you join me next time as well here on Vector Touch Plus. Thanks a lot for your attention.